Hello, I'm happy to be joined with Yaritza Menjivar from the Somerville Arts Council. And we're here to, to talk and to promote the Somerville Spring Cleanup happening on April 24th throughout the city. Uh, those of you that are familiar with the Spring Cleanup event, um, it is a citywide event. Uh, last year, 2020, it, it was canceled uh, for obvious reasons, but uh, it's happening uh, this year. So Yuritsa, why don't you let me know, me and our viewers know about <laughs> the, the spring cleanup and um, how it'll differ from previous spring cleanups and what people can expect and how they can sign up. Yeah, thank you, Dave, for having us. This is really great uh, to be able to talk about um, this program in such a short notice, but uh, just being able to get the word out there. Um, but yeah, the spring cleanup is going to take place on April 24th at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. about rain or shine. There's no rain date. So whatever the weather is, just be prepared. <laughs> Um, and like Dave, uh, Dave mentioned, it's a citywide annual event uh, where we invite residents to join us to beautify the streets of Somerville. Um, and like you also mentioned, it was canceled last year, but luckily we're able to produce something small, like a smaller version than previous years. Um, this year, we're going to be working with East Somerville Main Streets, Groundwork Somerville, the Mystic River Sh Watershed Association. Um, and of course, our esteemed uh, city council. Uh, so they are, they'll serve as ward captains. Um, and I just wanna give a big shout out to the participating organizations and the ward captains, because um, like I said, it was a little last minute and they're stepping up to help us out with this event. Um, and yeah, but as always, we're separating the uh, locations of through our wards. So, you know, ward one, ward two, ward three, you're able to sign up those different locations on our website, but I'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, our main goal for this cleanup is to celebrate Earth Day. Um, and by doing so, we'll be cleaning up the trash on the streets, weeding out the parks, um, and just being able to get outside again and finally to have our community come back together. Um, and just one thing that's gonna be different from last year or a couple of things that are gonna be different from last, um, not last year, the previous years, um, is that we will not be doing a barbecue um, after the cleanup. I know that that was like a, like one of the big favorite things after like all coming together and celebrating, but this, this time around we can't for obvious reasons. Um, we're also, you know, we're doing this to make safety a priority. Um, and with that said, our groups are going to be limited to 25 people max. That's the city uh, protocol right now for outdoor habitings. Um, masks are going to be required. And we have, we'll have volunteers on site to be able to control um, making sure that everybody has masks on and that everyone is staying six feet apart. And additional to that, we will also be providing sanitation stations and extra masks for convenience. Wow. Uh, wow. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot to navigate. <laughs> I know. Um, I know. Yeah. But we, we were thinking about the safety first. Yeah. Um, yeah. And speaking about safety, we're also uh, going to be controlling the numbers. So to sign up, we'll be needing uh, people to sign up through our website. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, having having participated and filmed uh, a, a, a previous spring cleanup. Um, it's, it's a great event that, you know, after the, the fall and the winter, you know, when stuff piles up along the curbs and the sidewalks and, uh, you know, maybe the leaves from last autumn are still just hanging out um, along with any litter or, or, you know, anything else that has ended up in a, in a public space uh, or in a space along the river or, or wherever. And uh, this, is, this has always been a really great annual event where you can meet members of your neighborhood. You can be in touch with city councilors. Um, you can be in touch with other city leaders. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I encourage people who, who feel, you know, safe enough to, to sign up, um, you know, at this, at this community event. Um, yeah, what else can you tell us, uh, Yuritsa? You mentioned the, the sign-up process and how you have to control those numbers. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, if you're interested in volunteering, um, we have a Google form on our website. Um, you can also find a Google form on our Facebook page. Uh, we have an event for the spring cleanup specifically. Um, and there's also, if you follow us on Instagram, you can find a direct link there. Um, but basically, you'll just be providing some contact information in case um, things change last minute, we'll be able to contact you. Um, and also, you get to select a location that you want to be a part of in the Google form um, that you want to participate in. The only thing that we're letting people know is that um, because it was last minute, um, there the locations, if we can't find enough people to fill in the locations, then the locations might be condensed. So that's why we're also asking for contact information to be able to be in touch with you um, a couple of days before uh, the actual event. So just keep it an eye out for that notification. Yeah, I'm looking at the form right now and, and I do see multiple locations for various wards. Uh, so like Ward 1, uh, you have a sign up for the East Branch Library or for Zero New Washington Street. Ward 2, the Art Farm, South Street Farm and the Quincy Street open space, uh, Ward 3, the Morse Kelly Playground and City Hall, uh, Ward 4, Groundwork Somerville, Ward 5, the Community Path, Cedar Street entrance, Ward 6, uh, the Davis Square Statue Park, and Ward 7, the Dillboy Stadium. Um, so yeah, so uh, if, if you don't get enough signups, you, like you mentioned, uh, some of those may be condensed. Exactly. Yeah. And then one other thing to notice on the Google form as well is that Groundworks Somerville is having a different capacity limitation. They're capping theirs to 10. So if you want to sign up for uh, the locations in Ward 4, you'll have to sign up through their form. Um, and the link is provided right in the um, right in the description on our website as well. Um, and there's a note that says like Ward 4, please sign up through here. Um, what uh, what do people need to bring anything? If they want to attend, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I suggest a bottle of water, uh, making sure that you're dressed comfortably. Of course, your mask. Um, but that's it. The city will provide the cleaning material, uh, the tools, and materials that you'll need. It will all be provided, and they'll be on site already when you arrive. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So that's taken care of. So will it be like a mix of um, like not only cleanup but also planting, potentially uh, doing any planting of any kind? Is that, is that part of this this year? It's not, no. We'll just be cleaning up and also weeding out. So for yeah. planting, I guess you should bring some gloves. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Because if you're, if I think gloves will be provided already as well, but um, for extra caution. Well, there's an idea for Arbor Day right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tree planting for Arbor Day. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I, yeah. This was a lot of really good information. Um, I know I appreciate that, that this is happening. Um, you know, there's, it's part of the, the overall sense of optimism that we're, that we're all feeling uh, collective optimism uh, with, uh, with more people getting vaccinated and uh, the possibility of having more events like this. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did talk beforehand about um, the difficulties of planning events right now for, for an, uh, uh, an organization, uh, a city department like the Somerville Arts Council. Um, what can you say about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's pretty limited what I can share, but um, there are some projects that are in progress and um, we're just seeing how it, it's all coming together now. Um, we'll have to remain nimble and flexible as the city opens up, but we're super excited about um, starting an event season again, you know, because last year it was canceled throughout the entire year, which was it was fine. It was necessary. Um, so we're just seeing how everything's coming together now and being open to, to possibilities and but yeah to 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 check uh, our, on opportunities please follow us on, on our newsletter social media that's really what we have our updates um but i do want to share that we do have exciting uh, an exciting public art opportunity um it's on our website but at the moment we have um we're, we're partnering up with assembly row to create a new art installation um it's going to be three gigantic <laughs> um, vertical panels, uh, banners. And um, we're seeking for new work that conveys the 
the, the logo that says we are Somerville. So um, something that reflects, uh, that is vibrant, that is colorful, that, um, that reflects the city of Somerville. And we're accepting uh, any visual arts medium. So painting or photography, collage making, it's all welcomed, but it's, it's a pretty exciting opportunity um, and there'll be more opportunities as well for public art. So follow us. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Yes. Yeah. So uh, if you're interested in any, any of this, uh, head over to SomervilleArtsCouncil.org um, to find out more information about the spring cleanup on April 24th and also any artist opportunities like the, the one that uh, Yuritsa mentioned. Um, is there anything else, Yuritsa, in our last few minutes that you want to plug or talk about or <laughs> rant about or rave about? <laughs> no, that, you know, just continuing to say that we're extremely excited um, for the for the coming months. We have really awesome things uh, in the planning. So, you know, just be patient with us and and follow us. You know, we're, we're trying our best to um, support the artists in the community and to bring some sort of uh, event relief <laughs> to the city again. Uh, it's, it's what we've always done and what we hope to continue to do. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you for joining me, Yuritsa Menjavar from the Somerville Arts Council. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you, Dave. And uh, you. check out that website, somervilleartscouncil.org. <laughs> and also check out our website at somervillemedia.org. Everybody yeah. stay safe out there. Bye.